Now, since their creation, camera drones have captured some spectacular pictures, but few anticipated just how useful they'd become. Now, farmers are using the flying machines to help save crops from disease and devastation, saving them time and us money. James Thomas takes a look at how the technology is being used. They're like a tractor in the, in, in the sky. They're the next workforce that's going to be in the air. They are drones, and they're taking strawberry farming into the future. The drone we can get across fields within about six to ten minutes, where the workers take up, up to several hours. Strawberry farms are a labour-intensive and sometimes pesty business. The little creatures on this leaf are two-spotted mites, which can destroy strawberry crops. If you want to get rid of them without chemicals, the only way is by hand, spreading millions of predatory bugs which eat the bad bugs. How many we got to do today? How many paddocks? 20 hectare. Oh, gee. It is back-breaking work, and if you hire help, expensive. Nathan and Amanda Roy thought there must be a better way. That's when Nathan struck upon an idea. Just before I was on the internet and I bought one of them, one of those drone things. And I said, what on earth is that? And he said, oh, you know, those flying things that you see on TV. And I said, oh, well, what are you going to do with it? I'll just mount one of these things underneath it or something like that and be able to spread via air and just get rid of all this hassle. And for six weeks he worked night after night after night on my kitchen table. There were screws and tape and electronics everywhere. But then lift off. An idea became a reality and the Roys had their flying tractor. You can get into little corners, you can dodge power lines, you can work your way around dams. Hey, how you going, mate? Yeah, good, Nathan. How are you doing? Good. Nathan good. harvests predatory mites from an insectary. This small container of bugs is worth $5,000. Precious cargo, which Nathan mixes into a medium for delivery via his drone. Tens of thousands of bugs flying out of this thing per hectare. And what their goal is is that they're going to go and eat the two-spotted mite. And once they've done that, then they've got no more feed. They'll turn on each other and eat each other out. Hey, Ray, how, how you going? How you doing? Good, Nathan. Here to drop those commando bugs into the paddock? <laughs> yeah, mate. Farmers like Ray Daniels are now paying Nathan for his unique flying biocontrol service. We've used it this year and it's had excellent results. Nathan is now looking at ways of growing his business. And again, technology may provide the answer to a more efficient treatment of sick crops. When we humans get sick, we get a temperature. Well, guess what? It's also the same for strawberry crops. So the next step for Nathan is to attach an infrared camera. Now, this will allow him to take the temperature, literally, of a strawberry crop, which will allow him to work out where he needs to apply his bugs. It seems that the sky really is the limit for Nathan and his drones. Now we've got uh, people from all over Australia asking if we, when we're able to start doing a service for them. And also companies from overseas are also interested as well. And it's not just strawberries. Nathan's drones are being used for biocontrol in other crops and as a cheap and fast way of surveying cattle feedlots. You're going to make a quid out of it? I sure hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Look, we don't want to be millionaires, but we just we just want to be happy and and provide families and farmers with benefits. We're excited. We don't know where it's going to go. We'll see. We just go year by year, as long as we're happy and he's having fun doing it.